Hello, it's Nessa Tilson here, and this is a short video just to show how to make and use fillers. Now, what are fillers? Fillers are when you have to put furniture, cabinets, up against a wall, and you don't want the cabinet perfectly against the wall, because it's always easier if the wall's not plumb or the cabinets are not going to fit perfectly between the walls. It's always easier to make them a bit smaller and to add fillers. Here we have a little 3D example of uh, a series of um, little cabinets, uh, base cabinets, and we've actually put in two quite wide fillers here to fill up the distance between the end cabinets and the walls. Now, um, how do we make a filler? How do we use a filler? I'm going to show you here the best way to do that. So let's say that, um, let's get out of 3D and let's go into the, let's get rid of the our cabinets here and start from zero. Now what is a filler? Um, uh, um, a filler, if we look at uh, what a fi uh, uh, filler here that I've made here, what is this filler made of? Well it is of course, like everything in polyboard, a filler is just a cabinet. And what sort of cabinet is it? Well it's a cabinet. Um, which has nothing on it. So if I look, click out here, I can see at the top, I can see over here, it's got no top, no bottom, no back, no left side, no right side. What has it got then? Well, in fact, if I click inside, it has a, got only uh, one double back. How do I make this filler? Um, well, let's start completely new. And I, let's say, let's make a new filler. Let's make a new filler. I click into this a new model. So we come up with a cabinet and say, we have a now we have a, uh, a cabinet which is called um, model one. No, sorry, it's not the right one. The cabinet which is called uh, model two, which is this new cabinet here, which has everything on it. Um, what I want to make sure first is that the cabinet doesn't have any assembly details or anything, and it's just made of boards which are flush one one against the other. So to do that, I'm going to go into libraries, sub method, box form. Take away all assembly details on my box full. So we just got flush panels everywhere. I'm going to make sure that the, um, uh, uh, I'm going to get now just flush panels. I'm going to get rid of the, all the parts. Back, get rid of the back, get rid of the left side, get rid of the right side. We've got an empty cabinet with no parts. If I click inside the volume, right click, and I add a double back. The double back, I'm going to take the double back and I'm going to put it a distance from the front. So this is going to be the distance that I want my filler from the front of my bits of furniture. So for instance, if I want 50 millimeters from the front, and we now have a double back in here, which is 50 millimeters from the front of a virtual cabinet. So what happens here? Now let's say that this filler, what do we want a standard filler? So we usually use standard fillers of say uh, 50 mil, 50 millimeters wide. So what I do, I click outside and I give the cabinet width 50 millimeters. And now we have a filler, which is in a virtual cabinet, which is in fact a double back at 50 millimeters from the front in a virtual cabinet. Let's save this and we'll create a new model and we call this one filler, let's call it 50, for a 50 millimeter filler. And we, ha we have now this cabinet, which is only a filler, called filler 50. So let's put it in place. If I put if I pull in this model here, we can see that it will click automatically onto the walls, as any cabinet will, and it will, and I'll just have here the filler at 50 millimeters. So I've put in now some cabinets. These cabinets will click onto the virtual cabinet around the filler, we don't see, leaving 50 millimeters um, um, recess, well, setback from the front of the cabinets, which is the distance of the um, the, the virtual cabinet, where and this filler being the double back. So let's put in another model. Let's put in a model two here, and let's see what this gives in 3D. If we look in the detail here, we can see the filler here. Just fits in neatly, filling in the gap between the furniture and the wall. So let's fill in, let's put in a model, another model here. And let's put in a model two 
here. Right. Now we have these different cabinets filled in. And here we need well, let's say that we want, we don't want, it's the same thing here. We don't want this particular cabinet here. We would like it to go up to around about 50 centimeters, put in a filler here at the end. So this particular model, let's just take the measuring tool and see what we have between the wall and the, we have one meter 50. So let's go and put here the width of this cabinet be one meter. And let's create let's say this um, say this in one meter model and that leaves us here with we take our measuring tool again between the end of this one we have one meter we have uh, 150 millimeters here so let's put in a 150 millimeter filler here we take the filler let's quit the measuring tool we take filler 50 which we have here we see that when we click it in here what we're actually getting is this filler cabinet will click into place assembling itself onto the other cabinet and we can say that instead of 50 millimeters we want 150 millimeters wide and I will create a new model and I will call this filler 150 because it's 150 millimeters wide and it fits in here and if I look in 3D we now have the filler just fitting in neatly filling up the space between this cabinet and the wall What's quite interesting in the way of making the fillers like this is that the fillers are in fact parametric in the way that if we look at the filler here and we say that this filler 150, if I want to edit it and say we don't want 50 millimeters from the back, in fact for this particular project we need a bit less. What do we do? Is we just click on the filler model and modify it and saying distance from the front instead of being 50 millimeters, let's say we want it 30 millimeters. If I click that, I'm saving the model. Now my filler 50 is now 30 millimeters from the front, whereas in filler, this particular filler here, which is the filler 50 here, is 50 millimeters from the front. So you can see it's very easy, very neat, and very simple to make parametric fillers so that your furniture can fit in very neatly between two walls and you can there will be the they will be in the cutting lists of your projects and um, it will make installation much much easier than trying to get the cabinet against the wall thank you very much for looking at this particular video and i hope it's been interesting uh it shows you how to use your um a bit the a filler for your cabinet installations thank you very much and see you soon in another video goodbye